Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of MTG Arena and today we'll be playing with um, this Boros Houndmaster aggro deck and we'll be using it in the constructed um, event for core set so we'll head to the main page of the event later um, but first uh, let me introduce this deck shortly and quickly so as you can see here um, for the event we could only use cards from like all the core set so basically even in the past uh, M19 and M20 cards you could use them so you could see cards like Scotch Spitter and even Lightning Strike appearing but mainly you could only use cards from the core set to you know form a deck and play with so yep so our deck will be like this you can see the planeswalker we have Basri, two copies and you know for the one drop scotch spitter and selfless savior two drop will have um you know the combo pieces which is alpine hound master which could fetch us igneous cur and alpine watchdog which is um i think pretty nice in this kind of um format or even in limited format or yeah you know it's probably good in the limited it's quite a strong deck actually so yeah and this is not a legendary which means you could play multiple copies of it but um for this deck that i've imported um they only have these two copies i'm wondering if we should up more copies of this um but you know for now we'll just uh, leave it like this i guess and then for yeah we have season hello blade for our two drop uh, militia bugler as our tree drop and then we have some removal or damage dealer to clo close out the game like lightning strike and shock or even creature removal we could use them if we need to and then we have heroic reinforcement a really powerful cards to end the game fast for our aggro kind of deck so yeah and the land will be like this so yeah that's all for this deck and we're moving to the event page Alright, so this is the event we will be playing today Core set constructed and yeah, as you can see the rules are there So, yep, um, hopefully we will have some fun games as usual And we will be entering with GO So, yep, the rewards are like this in GOs and ICR cards So, alright, without much further ado, let us move into the gameplay, let's go Wow, this hand is really sketchy. I don't really like this hand. But a mulligan. Wow. Well. We are short of a raid, right? So we're up against a mono red deck, I, th I think. The one with the Chandra incinerator. And we are like mono white now. Oh, 
No, that's bad. That is bad. They got us here. Yep. White to play bar three. Oh man, a mirror matchup again. Really. It's like a mono red deck, I think. Let's see. That's right, we are borrowed, dude. <laughs> That seems like a really budget mono rate kind of deck. Well, ours is also budget except for the bar 3. Well, we might not draw into a plane anyway. Um, yeah, this is a tap. Better we just swing in like this. Yes. All right.
Okay, now this is okay. We could play our boss three. Not that bad. My sand will protect you. Are you ready for the emblem, buddy? Got him. That's easy. Seems okay. We just need to draw into more land and we are good to go. Oh, and Ram deck is always bad. It's always bad to see a ram deck. That deck again, huh? Probably they have a Ugin in their deck. We wanna close the game ASAP with um, Heroic. We just need to come on, give us our land please. We can't afford to miss any land drop man. Shit. That's bad.
Yeah, the problem with this deck, <coughs> the problem with this deck is definitely the pro like curving out well. If the opponent reaches like this kind of stage, it's like really hard to beat them. And now we got a tap land. Tap land, man. Now we just want to play out as many creatures as we can and heroic reinforcement in for maximum damage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, logically speaking, they could play out an Uro, I mean uh, an Ugin next turn. Just concede here, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so we are sitting at two win with this deck. So let's claim the prize. <laughs> All right, so um, in conclusion, um, the Alpine Hallmaster. Dog deck, I mean not really dog deck, but yeah, the Hound Master deck isn't really, can't really carry us so far, you know, to fall in. Um, it seems like the Ram deck has um, an upper hand, whereas for our deck, right, we need to be really lucky, you know, to have like the perfect scenario, like the land counts, the creature, everything, every pieces must fit in so nicely then we could have a really awesome gameplay with this deck which honestly speaking it won't really happen every time like um you have alpine hallmaster and you are attacking and your opponent has nothing and your lands are curving out well and you keep playing out monsters and you could follow it up with heroic reinforcement you know you don't see it in my game but probably for maybe some of your game you might so you know for decks like this that is really re reliant on combo pieces to fit in nicely it's kind of hard to work every time so yeah all right that is all for this deck showcase in this event maybe i'll do other decks you know there's lots of other deck variants um at the mtg a zone i believe the mtg arena zone <coughs> i'll paste the link in the description and you guys could check out the all kinds of decks that are being brewed for this event so yeah that will be all for our video today hope you enjoy watching and i will see you next time bye bye our kinship ensures our victory we stand together you do not have to fight alone I am proud to fight by your side. Do not fear, my friend.